Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Tuesday, the memorial of St. Cecilia, Virgin and Martyr. St. Cecilia is one of seven martyred women mentioned in the Roman canon. A noble Roman virgin, she was martyred for her unwillingness to sacrifice to the pagan gods. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips. And, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Please be seated. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation, from deceitful and canny men. Rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O oh God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart, to the gates of the nether world I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and born away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries, I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pray our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come, 
with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You, shall, you, you still rowing of the seas, the rowing of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the help, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brings over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O oh God, O oh gladden us a cheer with the feast day of your handmaid, Saint Cecilia. Grant, we pray, that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked in his servants by Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and there was a white cloud and sitting on one cloud who looked like a son of man with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand another angel came out of the temple crying out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud use your sickle to reap the harvest for the time to reap has come because the earth's harvest is fully ripe. So the one who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, who also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came from the altar, who was in charge of the fire and cried out in a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle and cut the clusters from the earth's vines, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and cut the earth's vintage. He threw it into the great winepress of God's fury. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful, and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes. For he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice, and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 
Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. While some people were talking about the temple, remarking that it was adorned with the fine stonework and rich gifts, Jesus said to them, The days will come when there shall not be one left upon another of all that you now admire, all will be turned away. And they asked him, Master, when will this be? And what will be the sign that this is about to take place? Jesus said, Take care not to be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, the time is near at hand. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and troubled times, don't be frightened, for all these things must happen first, even though the end is not so soon. And Jesus said, Nations will fight each other, and kingdom will oppose kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines, and plagues. In many places, strange and terrifying signs from heaven will be seen. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Gandang umaga po sa kanang lahat. Ang first reading from the book of Revelation by John tells us that everything, lahat ng bagay, everyone, lahat tayo may katapusan. So talagang there's a lesson when we are told by the Bible, be patient with each other. Be patient if you suffer because of them. Leave it to God. He will take care of everything. Just continue to pray. Then Luke in the Gospel says, avoid materialism. Ibig sabihin, iwasan ang pagkasakin, selfishness. Iwasan ang ambisyon sa mga makamundo. Madaling makita sa ating sarili kung tayo'y sakin. Nag-uumpisa naman lahat sa ating kaisipan. Lumalabas sa bibig. Pagka ako'y walang kontrol sa aking dila, ibig sabihin ang aking utak ay parang palengke. Pagka ako'y palatismis, ngayon nga nagsisimba tayo, iba ang iniisip Iniisip po anong gagawin pagkatapos. Kawawa naman. Sinasayang mo ang oras. Karap mo ang blessed sacrament dito sa taas. Karap mo ang birhen 
Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Iba-iba ang pag-iisip. Napakahirap. Idisiplina. Turuan ng self-control ang ating utak. Ito ang malaking challenge sa atin. Take care not to be deceived. Huwag masyadong pakinggan ang mga taong, panan pananalita ng mga taong parang mar nagmamarunong. Concentrate on your prayers. Ask God's mercy for He will take care of us. Ay, iwasan ang ambisyon na makamundo para sumikap. Kikita natin easily sa ating sarili. Para sumikat, para makilala, para magkaroon ng posisyon dito sa mundo. Para kang politiko, para kang kandidato sa pagkakonsihal. We all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Coming together as God's people, we confidently bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. We respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may try our best to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Peñafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pagdasal po natin ang ating mga kadugong namatay na, na nauna. And we learn the lesson na tayo'y kasunod. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed Lord God of all creation, to your goodness, we have bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual. Blessed be God forever. By the measure of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed Lord God of all creation, your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. 
For the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Please stand. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of your handmaid, Saint Cecilia, grant we pray that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked in his servants by Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the give Lord. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but the wonders of your might. In your mercy you give our daughter their faith, to their endurance you grant firmer soul, and in their struggle the victory is yours, so Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with the host of angels cry out without end, we acclaim, Holy. Blessed be who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, and we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, the Archbishop, Fidelis, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. 
Pagdasal natin ang ating mga kadugong nauna sa atin. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on all we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. all stand. At the Savior's command for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. At daybreak, Cecilia cried out, Come, soldiers of Christ, cast off the works of darkness and clothe yourselves in the armor of light. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At daybreak, At daybreak Cecilia, Cecilia cried out, Come, Come soldiers, soldiers of Christ, cast off the works of darkness, and clothe yourselves in the armor of light. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, on this feast of Virgin Santa Cecilia, Consciously bestir and enlighten us, we pray, so that we may stand ready for the coming of your Son and be admitted to his wedding feast on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Blessing of the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Freedom from illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, religious articles be blessed, made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Immaculate Mother. Mm -hmm.